Now the latest on the historic moon landing, a U.S. spacecraft on the surface of the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. NASA expected to release more information this afternoon as the landing ushers in the next chapter of the great space race. ABC's Morgan Norwood joins us here in studio with more. Morgan. Hey, Pedro, this is truly incredible. So this tiny spacecraft making a major impact, landing on the south pole of the moon. And look, if there's truly water there, like scientists believe, this could set the stage for humanity to go to Mars and beyond. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. History on the moon. We are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. After a week long flight totaling more than 620,000 miles, a 14 foot tall lunar lander named Odysseus successfully landing on the lunar surface just after 6 p.m. Thursday. Mission Control reporting that the craft is upright and transmitting data. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. But trouble before the historic landing. Roughly an hour before, the team scrambling to fix a navigation sensor crucial for that touchdown, yet creating a new software right here on Earth in those final moments and sending it to Odie. We're also not dead yet. Odie is now the first private spacecraft to land on the moon and the first American spacecraft to do so in more than 50 years. Odie will study the south pole of the moon, which is water and ice, that could be converted to drinking water or be made into rocket fuel. Scientists say it's a giant step towards the next leap further into space. The moon has one sixth the gravity of Earth and no atmosphere. So it's a much easier place to launch deeper into the solar system. It really is the launching pad into human exploration out into deep space. OK, so here's what's next. The overall hope here is that Odie will help NASA understand what the South Pole is like before that critical Artemis mission to the moon in 2026, which we know will put astronauts back on the lunar surface. Guys, I cannot wait for those pictures uh, to turn up later today so we can see what the moon looks like. Mm -hmm. It's just been so incredibly exciting since 611 last night, uh, watching it descend and just now just waiting for these photos and for all of the results from that it might find. It's just just fantastic. Yeah, Thank we, you, Morgan. Can't wait for it.